my goal in life was to be just like my dad. That's what I wanted. I wanted to be like my dad. So I always told everyone that I wanted to be a missionary in the Amazon because that's what my dad was. My parents had everything to do with my calling. Uh, the way they raised me, the discipline, the vision that they imparted to me, the way they presented God's work for me. One of the main things that my parents did is they didn't only teach me, but they taught me through example. Almost every day, they told me how privileged I was to work for the Lord and to do it in the most amazing place in the world, the Amazon Basin. So I grew up completely convinced that I was the luckiest kid on earth. And so when my dad passed away in 1994, I was 13 years old. And of course, that was the hardest day of my life. Uh, all of a sudden got the news that, you know, his airplane crashed and he died. When he died, I was, uh, I was challenged. And what is my real calling? Well, he died on a Thursday afternoon. And on Monday, God spoke to my heart very strongly. And he gave me a calling. I was only 13 years old, but it was so strong in my life that I've never doubted it. From that time on, I've never, ever doubted God's calling on my life to be a missionary as well. And they say like, like father, like son, you know, that's exactly what happened in my situation. And I would say like father, like mother, like son. <laughs> my dad and my mom, they would, they would tell us, you guys can be anything you want in life as long as you're a missionary. You can be a doctor, but you'll be a doctor missionary. You can be anything you want. You pick any profession you want as long as you're a missionary in that field. And I ended up being just a missionary, nothing but a missionary. <laughs> so I'm okay with that.